Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Crab Lord back again. Today we're coming at you with part two of the Trippy Red tutorials. We're gonna be doing his verse in Lil Yachty's song 66, which is a pretty good song I must say. I've done so many of these how to sound like tutorials to the point where there's gonna be a lot of repetition, but there's always gonna be some new stuff added in. Anyway, before we get in the video, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit the notification button as well, because at least I'd be trying to drop videos frequently, you know? I gotta pick it up. Also check out my description, I got preset packs, I got my music, I got my social media, and I got all my equipment down there. You wanna know what mic I use? It's all down there. And regarding preset pack volume three, I've been a little behind. I want to get out more entertaining videos before I do that. So let's do it. All right. So I have the first part of his verse. The last part gets real funky and I'll save the second half of his verse for like the live recording part. But right now this is just a very simple reverb auto tune vocal, but just let me know what you think about it. Flexing 40 bands from the pop out. Pulling on the block. I got my Glock out. I just pulled up in a Bentley. All the hate you go right to your Evans kidney. Flexing bands, little Evan won't get a penny. Yeah. And before we get into this, please make sure to check out my other tutorials. There's so many of them. Just give them some love. <laughs> So what I'd like to do is just pull over every single plugin so it shows up as we go. Oh, by the way, I'm sitting in a new chair. Check this out. All right, so I'm talking right now on the channel EQ, but I'm gonna take that off right now. So now I'm talking on the bare naked vocal. First plugin is a de-esser. That like suppresses this S sounds, right? As you can tell, it's gonna help like suppressing the reverb and not making it too intense. Uh, next we got the pitch correction. It only really matters to know the response time because the scale and root is all depending on your song. So we have a zero response time in this song. I have a natural minor scale G and that's about it for pitch correction. I leave it off because it delays vocals. You can't really record with pitch correction on because it will definitely delay it and you'll have a hard time hearing yourself. Now we have the ever so important channel EQ. That just cleans up the vocal a lot. So you can tell it really improved the crispiness of the vocal, right? And now we're looking at the EQ, right? A lot of my EQs are very similar. I took the red and just cutting out a lot of the low, the, the muddy sound. We got the orange a little bit down. As you can see, negative two dB at this 270 hertz area. A uh, really important one is this like neon green looking one. And we pull it down around the 500 area. To be exact, it's around the 420 area. Negative 10.5. And if you want, if you click here, you can adjust the width with this little thing. And then we have the blue here around the 5K area bumped up 5 dB exactly at the 5K area. And then we got a little bump from the purple up 3.5 dB around the 9,000 Hertz area. So make sure that you guys have your settings looking a lot like this. We All right, compressor. We got one compressor we pulled over. This compressor is a bright vocal preset, but uh, you just go to voice and bright vocal and leave it as is. We keep it simple out here, boys. Next, we got my favorite, the pedals. It basically just squashes the vocal. If I knew what that meant, I would elaborate on it, but I can't tell you. Where you'd find pedals, it's just an amps and pedals. You click pedal board and stereo. Uh, you would go into this thing, go to compressor and click fat squash. Then you want to change the level to 1.5 dB. Change the sustain to negative 19 dB. Fast attack. Then we have the second channel EQ, actually the last one, the last setting. It's just more of a, a high frequency bump. We got the plus two dB around 2000 Hertz area, 2.5 dB around the 4800 area. Boom, we're done there. So we got bus one, all right, so it's the sample delay, a minor sample delay that's kind of in the very background. What we got here is a one eighth dotted left and right delay. Let me change that for you. Yeah, one eighth dotted deviations to be between 11 and 12, 920 low cut, 5000 high, uh, around this area, 900s. It's all good, 5,000 high cut. Feedback's at 35% and left and right are at 40%. This is a very important part of it because 40% means it's not gonna be like the same, it's not gonna be the same level of like loudness as your initial vocal. And I'm gonna talk on it right now. And what I have it set to is negative 2.3. As you can hear, it's quieter behind me. Alrighty, now we got, we got the very important space designer. You know how much I love the space designer, right? So in bus two, you go to space designer, you go to reverb, space designer, and stereo. I like to do all my plugins in stereo. We have a big choir plate because it kind of gave me that big choir feel. Large spaces, plate reverbs, boom, big choir plate. You can add it straight to the vocal chain, but it's a lot harder to control that way. So we have the wet at zero, the dry at negative 15, and all this stays the same. I have that set at negative 17, negative 16.8. Here in these tutorials, we don't like to get too specific. That's pretty intense, right? I just put up in a Bentley. Maybe it's too much reverb. This is what my settings are. This is what I like. If you don't like it, you can always turn it down yourself. I'm not stopping you. I'm gonna keep on running it up. So let's get into the fun part of the tutorial and do a little live recording, maybe a little freestyle. Who knows? We're gonna do Lil Yachty's part two. Not sure if these vocals match his part, but I just wanna record the song, so. Send me, send me, keep it tucked. Bad bitch, bubble butt, huh? Hey. 
racks up, racks up. Pulling up Bentley truck. Semi, semi, keep it tucked. Bad bitch, bubble butt. 14, 14. High school serving beans. Drop down, now I'm rich. Flexing to him, 66. Ay, ay, flexing 40 bands from the pop out. Ay, bullying on the block, I got my Glock out. Ay, I just pulled up in a Bentley. All the hatred go right to your Evans kidney. Flexing bands, low, Evan won't get a penny. Yeah. I'm gonna keep on running it up. Ay, I'm gonna keep on running it up. Fucking it up, this chopper busting you up. Ay, there you go, testing your love. Dumb as all, yeah. Ay, ooh. Flexing, baby, pull up in a drop. Talk. Ay, diamonds dancing on me, they be hot. Bling blouse shining fresh just like some pop Rock. Fireworks, we gon' pull up to your block Pop. Make sure to subscribe to my channel Make sure you never miss anything Ay. Pulling up Bentley Trouble Bad bitch bubble butt well, that about does it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that as well as learned something. Because if you didn't, then my time here is wasted. Anyway, like I said before, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Notification button is there. Just give it a click. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to drop a like and leave a comment. Tell me what you think and who I should do next. Make sure to check out my description. All my links are down there. There's some crazy stuff. This has been a Crab Lord. How to sound like Trippy Red and Lil Yachty 66. And like always, we out.